Do you guys want your Spotify to go from this to this? Well then, stay tuned and watch the video because I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Alright, if you want to get your Spotify looking all nice and good like this, you're going to want to go on a site called Spicetify.app. Now, Spicetify is a client that allows you to modify your Spotify and it kind of allows you to use an ad blocker, which I do not endorse, okay? I do not endorse it, but it allows you to use it, okay? So get into the installation, click on install now, and boom. You're gonna wanna copy this text into PowerShell. Don't go into admin perms because it won't let you install that way. Just copy it, paste it in, boom, it's installed in Spicetify. After that's done, it's gonna ask you to install the Spicetify Marketplace. If you guys wanna get extensions, themes, and apps, you're gonna wanna click yes. I suggest you guys click yes, so click yes. Boom, after that is done, your Spotify should restart or pop up after this. And boom, at this point, we should have Spicify installed. Now, it might not look like anything special, but hear me out. You guys can see right there, there is a marketplace button. And boom, you have your extensions, your themes, your snippets. I don't know what snippets is. That looks pretty cool. And we have our apps. Um, as you guys know, the most wanted thing probably on here is the extensions, specifically this one, uh, which I'm not going to say what it is, but specifically that one, that one might be the best one to use. Volume percentage, CAD jam, you know, you guys want to have a little bit of fun with your Spotify. Gamepad, that's actually crazy, pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, besides that, the one thing that I really like about this whole thing is the themes. The themes are amazing. You can make your Spotify look so fun lovely and i'm going to show you guys how to do just that now the theme that we're going to go ahead with is dribblish and this is a very very odd theme to even work with it's very hard to work with to install dribblish you're going to want to go over to this auto install section right here go to your powershell copy that and it is downloading the themes package for dribblish it is a very sophisticated theme and i'm not going to lie i tried about like 10 to 15 times to get it installed and it is finally working now so you just copy this command right here paste it into your powershell and it is downloading all the themes that you are going to be switching between now your specify is going to look like this but there are a ton of themes that you can select uh in this dribblish thing which i'm gonna choose uh let me see rose pine okay let's let's hope that they have that available and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go into our PowerShell, write Spicedify config color underscore scheme. I'm going to write rose dash pine. I don't know if this is the actual scheme name, but I'm just writing it to try it out. And then I run Spicedify apply. Okay, guys, well, there's no rose pine. So I'm just going to look at this color scheme here and we have a dracula okay we'll, we'll we'll go ahead with dracula okay by stify color underscore scheme config and then boom i copy the text already so right click that and then i run spice defy apply now it should apply the dracula thing the weird thing about this is it's saying that it's applying custom patches the js is not found but they've already been applied so don't worry about that and this is what my spotify looks like look look what happens when i click on an artist spotify jeez jeez it looks tough it looks tough it looks tough now you guys might like this blue vibe but i'm gonna be honest i don't like this blue vibe i like myself to get a little bit of a red vibe so let me get to the theme that i want to use and that is indeed the rose pine look how beautiful this looks y'all can't tell me this don't look beautiful and i know y'all see the brown music over there yes i do listen to brown music don't even worry about that also why do we have sydney sweeney on here that's besides the point look how beautiful this is looking if i click on give oh my gosh the colors the vibrance the fluidity but yeah that is how you get it sorted i hope this tutorial was easy and if you are having any problems feel free to comment down what your problems are and yeah that is it and yeah peace out